Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. I am with Emily Byers, who is representing a really great program for students who are interested in helping the world with um, hunger programming and awareness. So Emily, tell us about who you are and what you represent today. Yeah, thanks, Karen. It's great to be here and great to connect with the Albright students. Um, so I am uh, the senior director of the Mickey Leland International Hunger Fellowship at the Congressional Hunger Center. Um, and the Hunger Center is a nonprofit organization in Washington, D.C. We're about 30 years old, um, and we believe in ending hunger by developing leaders. Uh, in the anti-hunger movement and the anti-hunger space. And so we have a few different programs um, to grow that network of leaders with skills and passion for anti-hunger work. Uh, the Leland program is our international program. So our fellows uh, spend two years with us. It's a, it's a big commitment um, working on food security and nutrition issues um, around the world. Um, and all Hunger Center programs are focused really specifically on uh, the nexus between programming and policy. And so we believe that change at scale to ensure everyone is food secure in the world requires policy and it requires government structures and um, economic structures that make that possible. Um, but that those policy decisions really have to be informed by the people who are experiencing hunger and poverty and that they are the true experts and that their voices need to be really integral to that process. So the Leland program, our fellows spend about a year doing programming work, usually in another country, um, either in Africa, Latin America, or, or Asia, South Asia and East Asia. Um, and then they spend another year doing policy work and that usually happens at the headquarters of their host organization or um, in a regional office, often in Washington, DC, but um, more and more in other locations as well. That's really incredible that you get to experience both, you know, the programming piece and then the ability to to put into action policy and, and see the difference that you're making. Yeah, yeah. So it's sort of working, making a, a large difference for a small group of people and then a large difference or, you know, just to have impact across millions of people, tens of millions of people sure. need that level of policy. Um, so yeah, we hope that at the end of our programs, our fellows will come out with sort of foundational knowledge in the full spectrum and really know how programs work, know what communities need or to how to find out what communities need, and then also how Congress works um, and how those, that level of decision making happens because it all, Kind of flows together. Absolutely, absolutely. So now, what makes the 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 Leland International Fellowship? What makes that you know such a unique opportunity for students? And who do you hope to draw to that program? Yeah. So um, I don't know that there is another program that does what we do, which is like a really specific focus on food security and nutrition, um, and that includes humanitarian nutrition as well. So in conflict areas and in places where folks can't grow food at the moment because of a natural disaster or just they're not able to, to access their land, that you know, food needs to be brought in. And so there's sort of a humanitarian and emergency food security and then sort of longer term more chronic. And so our fellows in each cohort work across that spectrum. And so they're learning that full spectrum, which is hard to do if you're just in one or the other. But I also don't know of other programs that really do the, the, the programming and policy. Um, I think we're pretty unique in that. And then we also have, um, in addition to the work that the fellows are doing on a day-to-day -day basis, the Hunger Center has a model of leadership capabilities. Um, and we provide training and mentorship and advising. Um, so fellows are growing in those capabilities as well. Um, which are based around self-awareness, leading with others, and then creating change. Um, wow. I think it's a pretty, it's a pretty unique and pretty great program. <laughs> For sure. So you have that personal yes. development in addition to yes. a humanitarian. Wow. That's a yeah. really great concept. Yeah, I think so. And so we want, you know, 
about fellows to develop technical skills, but also like the leadership skills, the soft skills, the skills that allow you to convince other people and bring people along with you and have vision and, you know, do the analysis. And so um, that's what we're trying to do. And so we're really looking for folks who are very passionate about food security or nutrition um, and who are coming in with some background in those issues a bit usually. Um, um, who really kind of believe in our, like see our theory of change with the policy and the program and, and really think that that is like the way to make change and are comfortable with that. Um, and then folks who are resilient, flexible, adaptable, it's, you know, it's not an easy program. Fellows are placed with another organization and usually in a place they haven't lived before and they have to get the work done and, and you know, find an apartment and, and do all the stuff that's just living your life. Um, and so those things are important. Um, but the Hunger Center also, we have a commitment to um, reaching folks with lived experience of food and nutrition insecurity or poverty. Um, we have a really strong commitment to diversity and inclusion and equity in all of our programming and our analysis. And so uh, we really believe that ending hunger requires everyone's voice, like everyone's perspective and that there's strength in that. And there's, there's like, like you can't do it without that. And so it's absolutely necessary. Um, and so all of our programs are really trying to, to create that as well. That's wonderful. So if I am a student who's, you know, I see myself pursuing this opportunity, yeah. what is the, the application process like? What can I expect? Yeah, so um, go to hungercenter.org um, and there you'll find a lot of information about all of our programs actually. But for Leland, um, we are a two-year program and so we accept applications every two years. This is an application year and so um, if you go to our website, you'll be able to download the application guide and uh, access the actual application. Um, and it is a pretty lengthy application has some short essays um a resume things like that but no recommendation letters and no transcripts are necessary um and um the application deadline is january 11th and then the program actually starts next september okay so it's a yeah the um selections process is pretty involved and so there's many rounds of selections and then matching with a host organization and then um, onboarding over the summer and then the fellows get started with orientation in September. Excellent. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate you sharing all of that information with us today. You're welcome. And I'll just say also, uh, we did a webinar, um, which is recorded and on our website as well. So if folks want the full hour version, they can. They can go there to get all the nuts and bolts and um, yeah, all the information that they need. Great. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Lion, Thanks. thank you so much for checking this out. And if you have any questions, of course, don't hesitate to reach out to our office. Yes. Thanks so much. And it's wonderful to connect with everybody at Albright. <laughs>